Well, good day everyone and welcome to the show. I see a laptop. We're gonna be doing something with a laptop today. One of the most commonly asked questions we get is about the Rockford DSR-1, right? Correct. What kind of questions do we get? My DSR-1 doesn't pair with Bluetooth. I don't know what to do. And a myriad of other weird and strange things. And the reason for this is because it's a software updatable product. Most DSPs, when you plug them into their computers, they do software updates immediately because the DSR-1 doesn't get plugged into a computer. It just works over Bluetooth. The temptation to open it up out of the box and immediately get going on it, well, you want to do that. That's not the case. You still have to update them. Let's take a look at how to do that. Now, before you get started, the first thing you have to figure out is which one of the three ways it's capable of being hooked up you're going to want to do. Is our AR capable, high level, or low level? For high level and low level, it has four inputs. That's like front rear, front sub, front center. You get the idea. It's all selectable in the user interface, which we have a wonderful video up showing you how to do it I'll link to those two videos in the show notes today we're working with this guy here this is a Mustang it has the premium audio system so it has a six inch mid bass a mid-range and over here in the a pillar is a tweeter now there's also an amplifier up here in the kick panel that would be this guy right here so we've already gone online and checked to see if this car is compatible and if so what harness we need and for this we need the AFO3 that is this harness right here this harness is designed to match up these three plugs right here they're even colored the same so you have the tan the gray and the black we're gonna be doing an AR connection with this DSR one so in case you didn't already know it at this point you're gonna want to know the year of the car you can find that by counting over the tenth number in the VIN this guy right here then coming over it is a J which is 2018 you can find that listed on the internet if you don't know it already now you're gonna need two pieces of software for this you're gonna need the web link software from iData and you're gonna need the DSR one updater from Rockford. If you've never seen or opened a DSR-1, it comes in this fabulously built box. I love the little red stripe here. It's perfect for a razor blade to go in and cut it open. Get the cellophane off, pop the top. Inside there is a owner's manual. It gives you a brief description of where to go and how to use it and what the color codes are. Of course, a warranty card. And then the unit itself is presented very cleanly and very nice. And it just pops out of this foam pad here this is the unit now on the side here you'll see the USB as well as the high to low switch two little finger tabs pull out this and inside you have the wiring harness this is your main input harness here obviously it has all the RCA's on it and this is your output harness as well if you're using the T harness like we are you're not going to be using this harness for the installation just this guy here so you can just put that back in the box and save it if you ever decide to pull out your factory radio or switch to the low level input with let's say an aftermarket radio that is also a very common question we get if someone buys a dsr1 today connects it to the factory radio and let's say in this they decide to pull out that factory mustang radio in a year or two and put in something different maybe they want a big 10 inch or whatever screen in the dash will they still be able to use the dsr1 yes you're going to repeat the process we're going to do here but you're going to flash it as standalone and then you can still use the dsr1 as a regular dsp as like we said it can be used three different ways so now that we have it on box we need the USB cable that it comes with along with the brain itself. When the unit is plugged in, launch your web link application first and select flash. It's gonna ask for a username and password. Make sure you set that up. When you get to device detected page, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says this funky set of letters here. This is the first update you need to do. Select reflash embedded device. This is the update most people forget and this is the one that causes the most issues. It'll take a minute and it'll flash the unit. When the software update is done, select redetect. Now we want to come down into this main area right here where it says flash by vehicle. If you're going to be using this as a standalone module, this is where that is set up and it's not real clear on how that works. The first thing you're going to do is select year. This is unimportant for it. It doesn't care. So just select year and select whatever the top year is. In this case, 2020. It says Jeep and others. So right now those are the only two 2020s that are compatible. Select other. And as you notice here, it says universal amplifier replacement. This is what you're looking for if you're going to be using it as standalone. 
From here you select go. It's gonna say no features found because it's not going into a car that is AR compliant. Click continue. And on this page, it's gonna show you what we're about ready to do. In this case, it's not flash for any car. You can select flash and it'll go ahead and download that. But we're not doing that. So we're gonna go back to vehicle. We do have a 2018, so we'll select 2018. Mustang. It gives you an image of what the screen and the dash should look like. If it doesn't, don't do this flash. Software, the compatible harness. Now this is a really cool feature that it has where it allows you to take the EQ features, basement treble in the radio and select what you'd like them to do. If you just want them to stay the way they are, you can leave them that way. However, if you'd like bass to be a subwoofer level control, you can do that. We're just gonna leave it as none because we're installing an actual subwoofer level control. For the input voltage sensitivity, just leave it at the factory default setting. Go over the flash that you're going to do for the car and select flash. Now sit back, relax, and let it do its magic. When it's done, you'll see this screen, the flash was complete with success. If you wanna change anything, you can select redetect. Otherwise, just close the app. The next app we're gonna to wanna to go to is the DSR1 app. But before we do that, we wanna go on to to rockfordfosgate.com and make sure we have the latest firmware. Go to the support tab, type in DSR1, enter, scroll down until you get right here where it says DSRA firmware downloads. Right now we're on 19.4. If you don't have that one, select download, X out of there. Now leave the device connected the whole time. If you have a glitch, Go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in between the, the two software changes, but for the most part, it should be okay just to leave it plugged in. What you're gonna see on this first page is all the information that is on the unit. The one right here where it says firmware V is the one we're looking for. This has 1.8 on it, so we definitely need to update it. Come over to the step two where it says open file. Grab your newly downloaded software. Download to device. Now sit back and wait. It's gonna do a full little circle, and that'll be it. Now one of the other things you can do with this piece of software is down here in the bottom it says reset DSR1 to factory defaults. If you've been using this for a while in another application and you just like to start over, you can select that and it'll put it back to out of the box spec, meaning there's no settings on it whatsoever. Once you have a full blue circle, download is complete, close the application. Now your DSR1 is fully ready to go. That's it, you're all set. Now if you'd like to know more about setting it up for the specific car as far as like if you're doing it as a standalone version, make sure you check out the two videos we've linked to in the bottom. We give you a full explanation on all those features. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. On to the next one, guys. You guys have a wonderful day as always. We'll see you later next time.